and lo and behold the eight scale tire gluing jig this is the race form uh, tire gluing jig so you open the box of course it's got instructions which no man ever wants to read but I did I even watched a tutorial video on the internet yep. so she's switching cameras here to get a little better angle um, the head that runs against the tire obviously pivots um, it's on a nice bearing then the the center where the tires actually mount it, it has quite a few pieces to it um, it comes with a, a little piece with the bearing in it it comes with a couple of metal glue tips it comes with this thread on nut um, long story short if you want to use if you want to use it for 8 scale, so it comes with, I think they call this piece the 8 scale uh, adapter. Uh, we'll take and we'll, we'll thread this back on. Now, one thing, I do have this one kind of tightened up already, but it comes, if you can see on the bottom, it's grooved because this thing is uh, short course and 8 scale. So obviously to do the outer side walls on an eight scale, you'll have, or on a short course, you have to move it. So uh, I've got it tightened up on the eight scale buggy side and the short course inside side. So we're gonna go ahead and we can take eight scale buggy tire, sits right down over top of that. Now, one other thing that I noticed if you look, uh, and there we can see it. This little white spacer inside here. So when you're going to do eight scale tires, you have to take this apart. It takes a 2-0 uh, Allen hex. You can take that screw off, and you take this little white spacer out very carefully thread this back in and then they also this th this thing is pretty legitly built um, and it's got a bearing in there so that still spins free if you can see and I think you can see it if I can get the camera angle right show me what right here there's a set screw there's a set screw that does the stop for when you push it on. Um, obviously, they have a set screw in there for a reason to change the stop. I really, in my experience today, didn't really figure out what that's uh, necessarily needed for. But if come up here and get this. So, so if you take, you have your tire mounted on the wheel, the bead's clean and all ready to go, which I did not do to any of these because I throw it together in a hurry. But if you slip this over, right, and the, the, the little wheel with the bearing in it makes contact with the tire, and then as you spin, notice it pulls it away, just like my thumb does every time I glue a tire. <laughs> <clears throat> so then once you get this, you know, you put the glue in as you're spinning it, you know, yada, 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 you spin this off, and it's supposed to be good. The thing I don't care for, I mean, now I get it that I've hastily spun this thing around a couple of times, but over here, the bead of the tire is too far in. Over here, it's too far out. Hold on, let me see if I, oh, well, you fixed it now. Well, yeah, I fixed it. I'm OCD like that. So, spinning it around, like here, you can see. Yep see how it it's it's high like there you can watch me push it down mm -hmm. um i'm not saying that you can't be effective gluing tires with this thing you'll just have to have your a game on when you when you first run the first bead of glue around it you bet you better be pushing that down if you want to have it perfect um to do the inside obviously super simple you flip it around and do the inside it's the exact same process um doing short course tires like uh I'm actually, I'm going to use an 8 scale uh, late model wheel just because it has a 17 mil hex and I don't have to change the, okay. the inner. So when you go to do it, obviously 
that's why the bottom thing is adjustable because now it's not this, far enough in. yeah it doesn't catch hard enough okay and you have to put that white spacer back in that little wheel right okay so what do we have to change we have to do the white spacer and what's the other thing you have to change oh, under, oh, underneath oh. here yep. which it takes a three millimeter driver okay so you have to you have to loosen this deal up and and scooch this back over in now the problem with it like to do it quickly as you can see so the eight scale adapter is threaded and this little washer is threaded so it doesn't just loosen as simply as you would think mm -hmm. so I had to hold that washer and now I've I've slid that over and now I'm holding the washer again tighten that up and then because again because I'm using the the uh, late model ones which I guess we'll go ahead and switch it. Well, why don't you so, switch it, and I'm going to go over and check and see if we have any um, questions. Of course. Okay, I'm going to switch back short over. Course wheel. So, again, I've changed the the spacing or the slider for that center spindle, mm -hmm. but I haven't added the white uh, spacer back into this bearing wheel yet. And you can see it it doesn't pull it doesn't pull the tire off the wheel very far. So, I mean, does it have to pull it further than that to well, if glue? You, if you want enough glue in there to not have your tires wop, wop, wop. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, I've also never glued tires. I oh, your, your mic, because you're not plugged in, Moomaw. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I, I have one hand. This is fun. <laughs> How about now? Can you hear me now? Well, I'm sure they could hear you off of mine, but it was only when I was in nice and close that they were hearing the best version of you. Maybe you should get closer all the time. Obviously. So, <laughs> again, back to this, okay, so this, you... this little white spacer in here. Yeah. Um, so now, when the, when the wheel engages, now you can see it it, pull, <clears throat> it yeah, pulls it pretty... off a little further. It's not insanely, you know, different, but it mm. does pull it off further. I've, I've never glued tires. I don't know what it's supposed to look yeah. like. Well, uh, again, I, I, it, the little wheel pulls the tire from the wheel just like Kevin's thumbs do when he does it by hand. I, I don't <laughs> know what to tell you. <laughs> but anyway, and, and again, same as the 8 scale. You, just, you have to make sure that, you know, you're pushing it back together as you're gluing it. Uh, the inside of a short course tire uh, works the same as the 8 scale stuff.